Hi everybody, thank you for joining me uh, once again as we continue to look through the book of Proverbs. When we started these reflections on Proverbs, I made the point, I think, that uh, there are many themes or topics that are repeated throughout what we have as the biblical book. Solomon, in his wisdom, uh, keeps returning to certain things and uh, today's subject is one such matter. Let me read to you from uh, Proverbs chapter 5 and verse 1. My son, pay attention to my wisdom. Turn your ear to my words of insight, that you may maintain discretion and your lips may preserve knowledge. For the lips of the adulterous woman drip honey and her speech is smoother than oil. But in the end, she is bitter as gall, sharp as a double-edged sword. Speech uh, is something that is important to Solomon and that's why it is repeated time and time again. Proverbs 8.13, Proverbs 12.16 talk of of our speech and the importance of uh, controlling our speech and being careful about what we say. There are 37 instances uh, where Solomon talks about the lips, the the kind of agents or tools of our speech, and uh, where he's trying to kind of reiterate the point that it's really important what we do with our lips and how we speak. So let me ask you today, let me ask myself today, how well do we speak? How well do we speak to God? How carefully do we speak to him in what we bring to him? And how carefully do we speak of him? What are we saying to other people in the the speech, the terminology, the, 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 the kind of tone of our voice when we speak of God? We have this wonderful opportunity to be able to share good news with other people, but that will only come if they recognise in what we're saying and how we're saying it, that this is great news, that God is good. But a second question, perhaps uh, rather more uh, tellingly, is how well do we speak of other people? What do we say of them and what do we say to them? Perhaps one question is to ask if those two things are different. Do we Uh, speak to them in a very different way than we speak of them to other people. Our speech, our lips, should be uttering um, good words and uh, truthful ways. Uh, Our our speech should reflect our heart of love and compassion for others. One of the things that Solomon time and time and time again warns against is is being kind of um, two-tongued, being, saying one thing but meaning another. What Solomon is warning against is having in our hearts something that is very different from what comes out of our mouths. And I think as, as followers of Christ, as disciples of his, um, those who want to be living out what it means to belong to God, we need to be very careful about what we say and how we say it. We certainly need to be people who, for whom our yes means yes and our no means no that's something that Jesus spoke about isn't it we need to be truthful we need to be honest we need to be uplifting we need to be people who somehow are able to build others up with our speech there's a lot that could be said and perhaps over time we'll come back to this but for now let's just think about how we speak of and to God but also how we speak of and to others let's pray father you've given us uh, our our lips, you've given us our voices, you've given us the, the, the thinking behind what we say and how we say it. Please guide our thoughts and our hearts to be people of good word and good character, we pray, for your glory. Amen. God bless you. Uh, thank you for listening. Take care.